I start where the Attorney General ends. 77 Jamaican citizens lost their lives. And I reflect on it all the time. I was able to visit Tivoli Gardens the day after the incursion. It is not an experience that we should make light of. I was also there in 2002. In fact, you may find it a matter of interest, Attorney General, that I was with Reverend Al Miller when we came upon the two young men being held by the security forces on their bellies in the hot sun. In the hot sun. It was not a good experience then. In a sense, I'm sure we can all agree that it should never have happened again after 2002, but it did. So I think the nation must be reassured that the opposition, the then government, wants to get at the truth of what happened, why 77 Jamaicans lost their lives. That is not in the spirit. There are many truths to be told. And the TOR, I suspect, would seek to ferret out some of them. But we would want to also know why is it reoccurring and why does it reoccur in West Kingston? Is there a particular profiling of the people? Why this happened? These are all questions. They, they, allow me. These are all questions that will be asked. The government has engaged on a particular kind of inquiry. The Commission of Enquiry. We should note that this is not the only form of inquiry. There could have been a coroner's inquest, which would definitely seek to match. Yes, which could definitely seek to find out who killed who. We could also go, we could also go on to probably consider something in the line of a Truth and Reconciliation Commission. But it leads me to the point that the Commission of Inquiry is entirely the prerogative of the government. I don't believe, Mr. Speaker, that the Honorable Prime Minister and the learned Attorney General and members of the Cabinet were depending on the opposition to help them to find commissioners. I suspect that the Prime Minister and her cabinet would have retained consultants and very well knowledgeable members of the civil servants who would have advised and made recommendations. And the Prime Minister herself may even have gone on to Google search engine to find out what commissioners would have said previously. They really don't need our input in determining what they have already determined to do. So I find the, the former minister, the former minister of national security, when he was then opposition spokesperson on, well, no, you weren't. You, were, 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 uh, you, you, you had made a comment at the time about red herrings. And I believe the attempt to consult, uh, it's a red herring. The, the truth is it, is, it is your prerogative and you decide. We will fulfill our duty to the people of Jamaica and to the people of West Kingston to ensure that they are adequately represented and that their voice and their stories are heard. We will participate. 
because we want to get at the truth. Mr. Speaker, I don't take kindly to the attempt to blame the opposition for the bad selection of a commissioner that has disclosed her view on a matter. Now, learned attorney general, you have made some defense of the honorable lady. And I am not here to attack anybody's integrity. I am here to bring the facts. So I'm not making an allegation. One of the matters that will have to be considered by the commission is whether or not unharmed, unarmed civilians, let's say women and children, were caught in crossfire. Are we to say that we will have to determine whether or not unarmed civilians place themselves there deliberately? I just want to be clear that the, that the standard of human rights in this country is not that unarmed citizens should be shot at. For whatever reason. I just want that to be established. It is not established by the statement made by the learned attorney commissioner. It is not. And you know that. And that, to me, Mr. Speaker, is the danger that persons who will come to the commission expecting that their side of the story, being unarmed civilians caught in crossfire, will have sympathy. That's right. That a commissioner has already pronounced on that. Yes. 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 So, Mr. Speaker, whilst we acknowledge the fact, whilst we acknowledge the fact that we want to get at the truth, 77 people died. It is a travesty. But you know, Mr. Speaker, the greater travesty is that the government would seek to play politics with the death of 77 Jamaicans. That is the greatest travesty. I have one question for the minister. Minister, will you withdraw the nomination of the learned attorney from the commission? Answer. Mr. Mr. Speaker, my question to the minister, will the government, will the prime minister reconsider the appointment of the attorney in question? Will the government, will the government? You asked a series of questions. Can I answer them? I'll get to them in the order that I see fit. The when, when the leader of the opposition says that it is a fact, he makes no allegation, he's stating a fact. I am going to answer it in the way that I see fit. and I'm going to answer all of them in the way that I see fit, not the way you think it ought to be answered. The leader of the opposition asked several questions, and I'm going to answer them all and not leave them hanging out there. And I'm going to answer them in, in the front I see fit. You can all go. I personally would not ask the Prime Minister to ask Ms. Gill, Ms. 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 to step down. Ms. Hilton, I personally 
would not ask the Prime Minister to ask Ms. Gill, Ms. 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 to step down. Ms. Hilton.